lucky for us, we work for Keller Williams and they have a um, contract with Facebook to kind of um, get the best out of their um, marketing services and get the best bang for your dollar when you're spending it for um, advertising. So we're gonna go down here to campaigns. And today we're gonna be talking about paid Facebook or Instagram campaigns. There's also social posts here, which are free that you can schedule ahead of time, but they're not like boosted or they only go to the people that either your page so your friends will see it, or you can put them out on the um, community pages, but it's not like boosted and targeted towards people that you're marketing. So today we're gonna talk about the paid ads. And I'm just gonna show you um, some, what some of ours look like. So here is one that we ran, I'll do this one. We had an open house on New Valley. It ran for two days. We spent $20, okay? In that time, it had 938 impressions. And what that means is it showed up on 938 people's Facebook pages. So you know when you're on Facebook, someone's coming in, and you're scrolling along, and you see something called sponsored, Hang on, I'll show you guys what I mean. You know, you're scrolling along, trying to see what's going on with your friends, right? On Facebook. It's not loaded. Here, uh, for some, I don't know why this popped up, but whatever. Um, this thing popped up sponsored, right? You're gonna get some of these popping up. So your ad is gonna pop up on somebody that you targeted, their page under sponsored, okay? So you're not gonna see it on your own page. Here also sponsored, genius hotel hacks that will change your next day, okay? So that's how your ad is gonna show up, okay? I just want everybody to understand that. It's not actually gonna be on your business page, but it will show up on the people's pages that you're targeting, okay? Um, so at, out of, so it showed up on 1,414 people's pages, just like I showed you. Out of those 1,400 people, 75 people actually clicked on it, all right? Once they click on it, this pop-up box comes up, and it's going to ask them if they agree to send their information to you, the agent, okay? If they agree to that, it's going to let them go through to the landing page that you pick out. So out of those, um, I'm sorry, this one we did before, right? Out of the... Um, I'll do this one, that's fine. 1,400 people, 11 people agreed to follow through and send their information to you and exchange, get the link to your landing page, okay? So this one was, I got 11 leads. If you click on that number there, it'll bring you to the page with the actual leads contact information. So you'll be getting their name, their email address, and their phone number, okay? And that's what you get and it pulls the information from whatever they had put in Facebook, all right? Also, you could tell here, this one, I spent $2.27 a lead. I spent $25 altogether. I typically run about a dollar a lead if it's a good, um, good campaign. This one, I spent 20, and this one was 91 cents per lead. This one was not so good. This one, we only got four leads for 20 bucks. It was $5. But if you look, most of mine run about a dollar up to two, okay? And that's pretty good. This one I got 71 cents per lead. So you can see how you're spending your money, okay? Any questions about how to read that so far? Okay, you guys are good? All right, we have a couple people joining us. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to create a um, Facebook campaign. I'm just gonna go to the beginning because I know I just got a couple people joining us. So I'm just gonna run through that quickly. We're at the dashboard. We're going to go to campaigns. We're going to go to paid ads because we want to do some advertising and market towards people. We're going to click create campaign. And we're going to talk about the social ads. Social posts I mentioned earlier are free posts that you could just put on your business page share to the community pages, but they're not being targeted towards anybody, okay? So we're gonna pick the social ad. You give it a campaign name. So I'm just gonna call this class um, August 10th. Okay, 
What is the goal of your ad? This is really just for you. Is the goal of the ad to attract buyers? Is it brand awareness? Is it to advertise your listing? You know, this is just really for you. I'm going to put to attract buyers. Okay. Then you can select where you want your campaign to run. They found they have had most success with Facebook, but if you want, you also can pick Instagram. We haven't run a Twitter yet, one yet. I don't think Twitter is so great for advertising. You're better off sticking to Facebook or Instagram. All right, I'm gonna click create campaign. Again, guys, if you have questions, please feel free to interrupt me. No problem. So what I'm gonna do here is, The name and goal has already been done. So you can see this section's completed because it has the teal little check mark here, okay? Next section is if you're gonna be using a listing, I'm gonna pick a listing that we have. So at first it's only gonna show you my listings, okay? So if you're doing an open house for somebody else and wanna advertise it, as long as you have their permission, feel free to do that. What you would do is click all listings so that all the listings from Keller Williams pops up, okay? I'm gonna stick with only mine for right now. I am gonna pick this listing, 100 South Harrison. Okay, and what's cool is it pulls in your pictures and also the text that you have in MLS, okay? So you can tweak this as well. So I, I associated it with a listing, all right? The text is here, you can change this text because you wanna make it catchy and you know have people wanna click on it. So this says here, rare find a new home to be built in the Hamlet of Congress, open spacious main level floor plan with oak floors throughout kitchen, blah, blah, blah. I am going to put um, three bedroom, two bath, oh, 2.5 in award winning Parkstown School District. Um, I'm going to say only 30 miles to NYC, okay? And then also people on Facebook also like emojis. So you can add a couple of emojis in. So I'm going to pick house. I usually like to add a little house in. Um, I'll put a little pen in. Okay, and they like well, another emoji. You know, don't go crazy, but apparently um, they get better response if you have a, an emoji in there, okay? You put in your headline. So it could be, um, you know, open house Sunday at two o'clock. It could be, you know, click here for uh, pictures, listing. Details. Oh, it only allows you to do 25. Oh, they changed this. Okay. So you're only allowed 25 characters now for the headline. So I'm going to say open house Sunday, eight, I don't know. I don't know what the date is, but 815, two to four p.m. Two to four. Okay. Then I'm going to put in here because I have more room. Click below for um, pictures, details, and price. Because you want to give them a reason to um, click on your ad, right? Because if nobody clicks on it, you're not going to get their contact information. Okay. So I'm going to add the little emoji in. All right. So this is what the ad looks like so far. You can see right here. And then you can also preview it um, on a mobile how it would look. All right, and that's how it would look. And you could also put a little description. I'll just say, great new build in the heart of town. All right, so Facebook doesn't like a lot of text, just so you know. So they only give you 250 characters for up here. 
and they actually only give you 25 for here, all right, for the headline. All right, I'm gonna save this. Next is media. So if you want, you can actually get your images right from the listing, or if you're not doing a listing, I can show you a simple one later that doesn't involve um, using a listing. So I'm gonna add these two, and they say square is the best. So I'm gonna pick square here. Try and get it so you can't see the garage isn't done yet. All right, I'll say this image. So now we have two images. You can add up to five images, okay? You also can add something from your hard drive if you have something, or if you design something in your designs library, you can pick something from there as well. So if you have something that you created, um, I'll just pick this, just so you get the idea. You know, you can create the picture and make it look a little nicer um, in designs. Oh, that one wasn't ready. All right. So right now we just have the two, which is fine. Okay. We're going to include the ownership statement, which just says, um, you know, each Keller Williams is independently owned and operated. It's really tiny. All right. And I'm going to save this section. All right. So now you can see we already got several sections completed. For Facebook settings, the first thing you have to make sure is that in settings that you are connected to Facebook for the first time. So I'm just gonna go into command and you're gonna click on your name on the top right-hand corner and go to settings and command settings. Oh, it's right here actually. So you just wanna make sure that you're connected. So post scheduling is the free connection, okay? And it'll connect to your personal um, account. And then also the ads manager, make sure that this one is connected, okay? It's gonna say connect if it's not here, I'm already connected. So it's not gonna work for me, but um, you can select which, if you have more than one business page, it'll ask which one you wanna connect, okay? I'm gonna pick this one. Okay. All right, so you wanna make sure that's connected. All right, so we're gonna go back to the campaign. So Rosemary, we're connected onto Rosemary's personal account, and then we're going to pick which business page we want to use. So I'm going to pick this one. And then this is, if you don't learn anything today, this is the most important thing I want you to remember, okay? Always, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to be picking this one, Facebook lead generation form. It's the recommended one. And that's because when they click on your advertisement, like this is going to show up, they're going to click on it. If you click on this, they're going to get a pop up. And it's going to say, do you agree to send your information to uh, Kathy Maxwell real estate, right? And then it will send the information to you. If you pick this one site or landing page, it will just send them right to your site or landing page, and you will not collect their information. Okay. This one, you will still be sending them to a landing page, but it will collect their information. All right. I can say that they're not going to lie and change their name and stuff like that. Um, one of, we got one, the guy's uh, name was Low Bitter. That was his name, L-O-W-E-B-I-D-D-E-R, right? So people will change their information, but at least you have half a chance, right? You're going to put in the link where you want to send them or choose a landing page that you have created, okay? So you can create a landing page. Um, I have a landing page already created for um, 100 South Harrison. So I'm gonna pick this one, okay? And let's just say you're doing an open house for somebody or you have your own listing. Let me just show you, show you a quick way that you can do it as well. So this is our website. So everybody at Keller Williams has their own personally branded website. What you would do is go to the website, type in the address, Okay, so here's the property. I'm gonna click on it. And what's nice about this is when you send people to this page, it's actually on your website, right? So it gets them wanting to search because they're already in your world, right? If you send them, put an MLS link, that's fine. 
but they're going to be in the MLS, right? You kind of want them to be in your world, right? So when they click on that advertisement, they're going to be brought here. It's going to give you the beds, the baths, the square footage, how much acreage, the property description. It'll be branded to you, okay? They'll have an ask your agent button here, all the property details, there'll be a map. If they actually log in with their account, they can see how far this house is from um, three different places that they put in. That'll be in another class um, for the apps and the website. It'll tell them the nearby schools, any upcoming open houses. There's a mortgage calculator in here. So they get tons of information. It'll give them homes in the nearby neighborhood. And then it's branded to you. And if they want to ask a question, they could submit this and you will get the message. Okay. So that's why I kind of like using this as well. So what you would do is just copy the link in the search bar here. I'm just gonna copy it, go back to my ad. So instead of using that landing page, I can use that instead, all right? So it's gonna send people, when they click on the ad, they're gonna get the pop-up, they agree to send their information to you, and then they're gonna be brought to that landing page, all right? Then for the audience, you can pick use custom settings. Most of the time you're gonna to wanna to target a custom audience. So you can decide. So this house is in Congress, New York. So you can search, um, let's say from Congress. So. Okay, and you could choose up to 50 mile radius of people that live around Congress, New York. All right, so you can go up to 50 miles radius. If you want, if you feel like those people are coming from somewhere else, you can actually, let's say you feel like the people moving to Congress are coming from New York City, right? You can put in New York, so it doesn't have to be where the house is. Yeah, it was New York, New York. Okay. So we actually can do a radius right around New York. So I could say, you know, 30 miles around New York City is where I want to search. Now, this is where the fun part starts, okay? You don't want to be targeting like a 13-year-old girl sitting at home, right? You want to be targeting people that potentially may buy this house, right? Or be interested in another house. So you can add interests. So some of the ones that they recommend that you add would be like um, mortgage. So a mortgage loans, a mortgage broker, a mortgage calculator. You know, you want somebody who's been kind of searching these things. Um, you also can add in, let's say, home or house. House hunting is good, okay? So you kind of have to think, let's say the house that you're selling is near a golf course, right? You might want to add somebody who likes golf, right? So all of these are going to be ors, okay? So all of these are going to be people who, oh, well, there's nothing for golf, that's weird. Huh. Do lake. I'd say the house is on, there's nothing for Lake either. I don't know. But there, so basically it takes all the Facebook interests. Um, let's say you have a really expensive home. You might want to search somebody who's interested in finance, right? Spell that wrong. So you kind of have to think of who is, um, who might be interested in this, you know, home. So somebody who maybe is in the financial world, Right, so these are all ors. So when you target all these people that I put in here, these are gonna be people who either were interested in mortgage loans or a mortgage broker or a mortgage calculator or a house or house hunting or finance. So now to narrow down your audience, what you can do is click here and this is gonna be an and. So it's gonna be anybody who's interested in whatever we put in here plus one of the other items. So I'm gonna put in Zillow. Cause you know what? You want people who are searching Zillow. Um, they did a study and they found that more of the first time home buyers or lower priced homes, the pe people search Zillow for second time home buyers or higher priced homes, they're searching realtor.com. 
So I'm actually going to add realtor.com in here too, just so we don't miss anybody. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get people who search Zillow, but also search mortgage loans, search Zillow or search, mor search mortgage brokers, search Zillow or search mortgage calculator, search Zillow or search house. You guys get that? Any questions so far? With the targeting? Not you good? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna save this. What's cool is now they have some new features here. So when the leads come in, they can be auto tagged. So I can actually tag them with the location of the house. I made a label for each, um, for each listing that we have. And then it'll automatically assign them to a smart plan, which is amazing. So if a lead comes in two o'clock in the morning, an email will autom automatically go out to them and you can be sleeping and you know be communicating with your leads. So I'm gonna pick, oh, I, don't, I don't have the right smart plans in here, but you have to create the smart plan first and I'll show you how to do that too. Um, let me just pick one. So this isn't the one that you would use, but I'm just gonna pick one. Oh here, copy of open house plan, 23 buying plan. Let's say I'm using that one, I'm gonna save it. Duration and budget. So. Just so you know, if you're planning on doing something for an open house, you can't start it on the day that you're in. You have to start it the following day. So the earliest I could start this would be tomorrow. And then you can pick the duration. You know, you could pick 10 days, you could pick three days, you could pick five days, whatever you want. So I'm gonna pick five days. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna say the 15th. That's four days, let me do one more. 16, five days. Pick your budget. So if I want my budget to be $25, it tells you how much per day will the spend be, okay? So I'm gonna hit save. And that's it, we've created it, you can preview it. If you're not really ready to go ahead and do it, you can um, save it as a draft, or if you're ready to go, you can publish it. I'm gonna save this one as a draft, okay? So it's gonna save and I can come back later and edit it or get it ready to go. The other thing that you're gonna to have to do is add in under payments, put in your credit card. So you just add your credit card in here, okay? Under add payment method. Um, the other thing, if say you start running an ad and you realize, you know, two days into it, oh my God, I made a mistake or, you know, whatever, you wanna stop it. You can't complete, you can pause it and it'll stop running and it'll stop charging your money. So let's say you did it for $25, two days passed, and you want to pause it, you can pause it. The only thing is it'll still have $15 credit. It won't credit your credit card, but you'll see right here remaining credits. And then next time you run the ad, you'll be able to use those credits. And the credits won't hit until the last day the ad was supposed to run, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's really all you have to do. It's pretty easy. And the other ideas that people have had is, let's just say you wanted to target Congress and New York City. Let's say we have this one um, completed here. I can actually duplicate the campaign, duplicate and customize, the same one pops up, and then you can change your marketing targets. You can change the um, location you're searching. So you can do like, let's say do three for $10 instead of one for $30 and kind of see which one performs better and kind of get an idea of, you know, what's working for your market, all right? And then we also talked about where the leads will be coming in. So you should be getting an email and as the leads come in, you should also be getting this little red bell here, okay? And it'll tell you um, that a new lead came in. If you set them up for the automatic smart plan, the smart plan will start and they'll start getting emails and texts right away. I'm just going to go over smart plans quickly to show you how to set one up. So we are going to go in here. So the first thing before you do a smart plan is if you want to include texting, you have to set up your Twilio, which is just a service that allows it to automatically send texts. So it would be right in here under your settings. All right. And what I suggest is that you um, pick a local area code, like we're in 845. You just want to make sure the area code is local so that people don't think they're being spammed, right? Because if you start getting weird um, area codes texting you, most likely you're not going to you know, trust it. 
So what happens is your Twilio number is a different phone number than your mobile number. But what you can do is you can forward your Twilio phone number to your cell. So if somebody should call it, it will forward right to your, um, to your cell, okay? So I have the cell phone number set up right here. All right. There is a charge for Twilio, but honestly, we have the cheapest plan. It's like $3 and 25 cents a month. And we have too many credits. I actually have to pause it. So depending on what your, how many contacts you have, really the lowest plan, it's the extra small, it's $3 and 16 cents a month. That should really be enough for you. Um, you know, and it does text from a separate number that's not your cell number. And I know some people get confused with that, but why tell my buyer's agents is we set the smart plan up. Once that contact starts interacting with you, I take them off the smart plan and then say, hey, that was my work number or something. Here's my direct cell phone number to reach me. You know, just say, you know, call me on this number. So it's really a non-issue. All right. So we're going to go into smart plans here. And smart plans are a series of email, texts, and tasks for yourself to remind you to do. All right. So you can go either create your own smart plan, um, you know, a follow-up, or you can go right into the library and use the knowledge of all your other Keller Williams agents, which I love. So I'm going to go under smart plan name, and I'm just going to type in Facebook. So you're going to get a bunch of different smart plans from a bunch of different agents who are nice enough to share them with you. So you can use these as a basis, you know, definitely check them, make sure the information is in there that you agree with, make sure that it sound, you know, you can tweak it to sound like you. So this one is a simple smart plan, helps you follow up with new Facebook leads. A thousand agents are using it and it got rated a one, two, three and a half stars. This one here by Robert Eikenberry, 2000 agents are using it and it got five stars, okay? So you can kind of hover over, if you click on view steps, you can see what happens. So the first thing is it says aloha. So we're not in Hawaii people, right? We're in New York. So chances are you're not gonna wanna use aloha, right? Cause it's not gonna sound like you. It's gonna say aloha, first name, last name. Thank you for clicking on my recent Facebook post. This is your first name, your last name with your team. And it says on Maui. So just make sure as you're going through this, that you, um, you know, make it your own because that's not gonna look good if it says you're in Maui and you're sitting in New York, right? So let's just say you decide you like this one and you wanna use it. What you're gonna do is click add smart plan and it's gonna take the smart plan and copy it from the library into your personal account, okay? So I'm gonna call this one Eileen's Facebook paid ad lead follow-up. So I'm gonna download it. All right, so it went from the library. Now it's gonna be under, it's gonna say my plans, but I'm on a team. So it's gonna say team plans here, but here it is. And I'm gonna click the edit pencil to edit it and kind of tweak it a little bit and make it mine. All right. So I am going to, the first step here is gonna send a text, okay? And it says aloha. So I'm gonna take aloha out because that doesn't sound like me. I'm just going to say hello. Hello. And it, what it's going to do is there are these fields. So he already put them in. It says contact first name, contact last name. So when it comes through, it's going to say hello. Let's say the contact is Kathy Maxwell. It'll say hello, Kathy Maxwell. Thank you for clicking on my recent Facebook post. This is, and it'll fill in your first name, last name. And with the team, I'm going to say in New York, in the Hudson Valley. Okay. Like me, I occasionally forget what I clicked on. So here's the link to all the reduced homes on Maui. So what this person did was they went to their website. Okay. And they did a search. So let me just go back. Let me go to my website. They went to the website. And 
and they did a search. So I'm going to say um, the count, uh, I'm in Rockland County. So I'm going to say Clarkstown is the town I'm in. So let's see what comes up. All right, so there's a lot of homes in Clarkstown. So what I'm going to do to filter that out is I'm going to click the more. And at the bottom here, you can see price reduced within the last seven days. You could do whoever's having an open house. You could do whatever you want. So I'm going to say price reduced within the last seven days. And let's see what comes up. So now there's only 100. Still a lot. So I might even, if I want, let me take out the foreclosures, the short sales. Um, I might even narrow the price to under, let's say, under a million, or maybe under 750, let's say, okay? Just to narrow it down a little. So we're still showing 100 properties, 115 properties in Clarkstown. That's fine. I'm just going to copy the bar here, okay? And I'm going to paste that right into the smart plan. Find it. Okay. So it says right here, insert link here. So I'm just gonna say, click here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight that. Oh, you can't do this with it. I'm sorry, in an email we can do this. I was gonna do a hyperlink. So I'm just gonna say, put the link in. It's gonna send them a link, okay? And then say, okay. Also with the text, just remember to always put your name in there because in a text, or an email here, there's no footer, so they're not gonna know who it comes from. So always just make sure your name is in there. All right, any questions so far? I feel like I keep talking. You guys are good? Okay. All right, next there's a delay. So you can put a delay how many days you want. This one has a delay of one day. The next thing, it's an email. So I'm gonna check change this, obviously, because we're not in Maui. I'm just gonna say, hello, checking in. say about your home search. Again, you want to customize this and make it sound like you, okay? So I'm going to take out this aloha here. And I just want to show you how to use the field. So you could say hello. And then what you would do is click on this function button. And you can put in the contact's first name just like that. And it's going to know that the who the first name is of the person. So when they get it, it's going to seem less like it's a, you know, a mass email. It'll be a little bit customized. Again, you would go through, change whatever you want. Um, when you're happy, hit save. You know, you go through all the steps. Here also is a step to make a phone call. So what's going to happen when this is due? You're going to get a message, and um, it's going to show up in your tasks, and I'll show you where that is to make a phone call, and it's going to say Facebook follow up call. Call this person. All right. Again, like I said, you can add things. So if you want to add a step at the bottom, all you have to do is click on, let's say you want to send an email at the bottom, click that, it brings up the email screen. If you want to delete something, just hit the X and it's gone. All right. The most delay you can do is 30 days in a row. So we'll work around that. If you want to do more, you just add two delays. All right. So let me save this. We're not going to go through the whole thing. And I'm just going to show you where the task would show up. So under tasks on the left here, this one's tasks. It'll show you your contact tasks, where these would be. So it'll show you what's for today. I'm going to pick um, all time. So you can see all my tasks. So it'll say I was supposed to call this person, you know, and you could just check off when you did the task. If you need to either snooze it, you could delay it for a day. Let's say you're busy today, you can't get to it, make it for two days from now. You could pick a date you want to delay the task. So the idea of this is to keep you, um, not to forget anybody, right? The idea of this is when the lead comes in, you want to hit them with a text, an email, you know, a day later, remind them, send them, you know, information. You kind of want to stay up with it. You know, go through all of the smart plans, see what you like, see what you don't like. If you don't like, a step, take it out. You can make it your own. Always, always, always send the smart plan to yourself first. Okay. So I'm just going to show you how that works. 
So what's going to happen is when that person comes into your, um, comes into, oh, is in her personal? Hang on, here it is. When that person comes into your lead bin, because we pick to add them to a smart plan, that smart plan is going to start running right away. I'm just going to add myself right now so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to add myself separately. But like I said, with that smart plan that we set up from the Facebook campaign, they're going to automatically be added to it. The only thing that you should know too is that um, texts only go out during the daytime hours, like I think it's nine to six. So if you want someone to get order responded, you might want to do an email first because if they click on your ad at two o'clock in the morning, they're not going to send a text, which I think is smart, um, but they would get an email. So you may want to um, do that first, you know, do this, the uh, email first. Let me just see if it came in. Okay, it didn't come in yet. Let me just see if it's in my other account. Yeah, it didn't come in yet. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Um, you know, like I said, the idea of this is to make it so that you can automate stuff, right? You put your Facebook ad in, the leads come in, they're automatically getting the messages. And you should definitely check at least once a day your little red bell. You should be getting emails, but just in case, see if you have any leads coming in and if you have to respond. The other thing is if somebody texts you and you wanna text back, Command Mobile is coming soon, but for right now we don't have it. So if somebody sends you a text and you wanna to respond to it, you have to respond through the dashboard. Okay, so let me just pick somebody here. Okay. So should Abby send a message? The way to respond to her would be you would click on the phone number. It would say send text with Twilio and you can respond right through here, okay? You just type the message in and hit verify and send, okay? And that's pretty much it. I mean, I know I went through this fast. Um, let me stop sharing. Do you guys have any questions about this? I know I kind of went through it pretty quickly. I didn't know that you could text right from command. But yeah, you have to set up that Twilio email. that I told you about first, but you can. Oh, okay. Okay, and then like the only thing is we don't have command mobile yet and it's coming out in the next month yep. or two, they're telling me. From there, you'll be able to do it with your cell phone. So, so what I, I like I to... said, what I suggest is once somebody reaches out to you, stop the smart plan and then just say, this is my cell, you know, whatever, that was my work number or something. And then just communicate with them that way because they do charge you through the Twilio texting. So you just want to get them back onto your cell once you can. But figure, let's say you have 100 leads, you could set it up once, get it, you know, get whatever you want to go out. It'll remind you when you have to call them. And then when they respond, because figure most people are not going to respond. I'll tell you that right now, okay? Um, but you will get people who will respond to you. And that's all you need is one, right? That's all you need is that one person from the ad to say, oh yeah, what about the house over here? Or do you know anything else for sale? Or, you know, all you need is for them to ask you that one question and then, you know, you're golden. Okay. What about you, Christine? Any questions? No? Okay. What about you guys, Mark, Jan, Ken? I'm good for now. You're good? Okay. All right. And so far, do you want me to show you another kind of ad that you can do if you don't have a listing? Because I know you, some of you guys are new agents. I would actually love that. That was part okay, of, I was kind of thinking to do that, like to yeah. promote yourself in a way. No, they say that that kind of ad doesn't really get that many clicks, to be honest with you. Um, okay. For that, you're better off sending stuff out to your database and your sphere because they know you and they'll trust you. So okay. what they have figured out that actually people do like to click on is you would go to your, um, I mean, you can do it. You can try it, spend 15 bucks, you know, see what happens. It's not going to hurt, but the chances of people clicking on it are less than if you give them information that they want. So I'm going to go to our website and you can pick an area. So I'm going to pick, um, I'm just going to pick farm. What was, what do you want me to pick? I'll pick whatever you want. To farm, an area to farm. Yeah. Okay. Where, where do you want me to farm? Pick an area. 
Montebello. Montebello. Okay, we'll pick Montebello. The Montebello is a little funky. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I got it. Okay, because it shares a zip code with Suffern. All right. Yes. So what we can do is we'll pick homes for sale, right? I'll pick out the short sales, the foreclosures. Um, we'll pick a price range. So let's say we want to say homes in Montebello under, let's see if anything's under 500. Do we get anything? Get the right. Let's go a little higher. So we could say homes in Montebello under 700,000, let's say. Okay. So we got six. Not great, but we could, you know, you could kind of pick what you want, just houses or townhomes, you know, make it interesting. So what you can do is copy now the link here and we can use that. So what you can do is screenshot this picture and use that as your image, right? Mm -hmm. For, you know, you can make the ad for a list of, you know, homes in Montebello under $700,000, you know, click here. So that's some information that people may want, right? You also could do a list of open houses, right? People like that. So you could make this higher, just say, what open houses are this weekend? So far, there's only one. Um, I think with COVID, you know, you may not get as many. You could also do um, homes that have been price reduced in the last seven days. So let's see if there's any homes in Montebello. Let's pick this one. Right. So let's say you want to do homes that have been reduced in the last seven days in Montebello. So that's information people might want to get. Right. They're willing to click and give their name for something like this. So again, you could screenshot this and have that as your image, and then use this link here for the search. So we'll go back into command and we'll do another. You're not, you're not sharing. So I'm just uh, kind of going off of what you're saying. Yes, I'll just show you how to. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm not sharing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks for okay. <laughs> it's hard. I can't tell because it looks the same for me. All right, I'll share the screen. All right, we'll do that again. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks for saying something. All right, so what I did was, I'll just start over. All right, so we're going to my website and I'm gonna search Montebello. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pick Montebello and then I'm gonna pick, let's say the price range under 750, okay? Or if you want, if you click more, you also could click here and see who's having an open house this weekend. Anything that's been price oh. reduced the last seven days, right? So that's information that somebody might want, right? Okay. So let me make this higher because the ones that have been price reduced were higher priced. So I'm gonna just say, these are the homes that have been price reduced in the last seven days, okay? That was under the more over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just copy this link And I'm going to use that in my um, new smart plan. So I'm sorry, my new campaign. Sorry about that. So I'm going to create a campaign, a social ad, and this is going to be um, Montebello. This is going to be to attract buyers, right? I'm going to run it on Facebook and I'm going to create my campaign. So this time I'm not going to pick a listing when I do it. All right, so it's gonna ask for the listing. I'm not gonna pick one. I'm gonna put in my text, um, check out these hot homes in Montebello. Why well, I keep adding the, the W, Montebello, New York, that have been price reduced in the last seven days. Okay. And then you could say, um, Oh, it's not going to let me make it. I'm just put the price reduced. Um, so I'm going to say here, click below of homes <clears throat> that have price reduced the last seven days. Or and also what you can do is if you don't have any listings and you're working with somebody, either doing their open house, you should definitely ask them. Or if you just wanna um, 
ask in the office if anybody would let you run an ad on their home, you know? You're giving them free advertising, right? You can do that as well, all right? So check out these hot homes in Montebello, New York that have been priced just last seven days. Oh, click below for a list of homes. And then whatever you want to put in the description. This, you don't have to put the description in this one. If there was a story, you would have to. All right, so I'm going to save that for the media. So either you can create something in designs or you can pick something. So I'm going to screenshot this. Yeah. There it goes, okay. Um, I'll open this one up. Okay, I'm gonna crop it. <clears throat> so that you just get like this area here. Okay. I'm gonna save it. And then you can use that as one of your images. You know, if you want to put in like pictures of, you know, Montebello in there, you can, you know, some of the stuff going on. So now for images, I am going to upload that. Make this a little wider. You want to get the main area in. All right, we can do that. That's good. Okay, so then you have the little area here that they're going to see the list of homes for. Um, save that. You know, again, add your Facebook settings, right? So you're going to pick the account, the page. Make sure you have this one here, the Facebook lead generation form, right? The button label, the website URL. So we're going to go back to the website that we did the search on, right? I'm just gonna copy the URL up here and I'm gonna come back in here and just paste that in. Right. I'm gonna pick my audience. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pick people right, from New York. I'll just pick that again. So let's say people, we, we feel that people from New York are moving up here, right? And then pick the radius, I'll say 30 miles. And then again, you're going to add your interests, right? So you'll put all your interests in. Always include Zillow and Realtor.com. I mean, if you want to include Zillow in the or section, right, which would be the first section, I'm just going to add in here house. There's also a thing for first time home buyer when I forgot about that one. Let's see if I can find that one. Like if you have a lower priced home or a fixer upper. Forgot if it's hyphenated. Oh yeah, first time buyer. Here we go. It's hyphenated. You could add that in, you know, and then I'll add and to narrow it. I'm going to add my Zillow in, you know. But you can play around. Like I said, you could copy it and just change how you're doing it. I'm going to add Zillow in because you want to get those people from searching with Zillow to search with you, and you can send them more customized searches, right? Again, your lead setting. So you're gonna say, um, or I'm gonna team, don't worry about that top one. If you wanna auto tag them, so you can create a tag from your, you know, Montebello ad that you ran on whatever date. So you can create a tag for that. I'm just gonna pick one here. And then you can also create the smart plan and have them automatically added to that smart plan and say, you know, thanks, thanks for looking at the list of homes, you know, that I put about Montebello. If you need more specific information, let me know. You can add another neighborhood in, you know, you can say, oh, these are new ones that just popped up. You know, you can do a lot of different things. Pick how much you want to spend, the number of days, save, and that's it. You're good to go. Okay. 
So that's something that's good to put on there. Um, like I said, you want to give them value. Uh, you want them like, why would they click on this and give you their personal information, right? You have to be giving them something back. So a list of homes that are in price reduced is pretty good, right? Yeah, thank you. Okay. And also you could create stuff about like download my app also in designs and use that as a campaign. There's a few things in designs that you can put in um, and get a little creative that way. Okay. Great, thank you. All right, any other questions guys? No? Um, none for okay. me. Okay, great. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, you can email me at iangel at kw.com. And uh, we'll, uh, hopefully you guys will start using it. It's a great tool to generate some leads. And the Facebook follow-up, now that it's automated, it's amazing because you don't have to really do much, to be honest with you. Just set it up and go. Okay? Gotcha. Right, thank you. Have a All good right, day. Thanks, Eileen. Have a great day. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.